electric. Hi everyone, welcome back for another update video. Today I thought I'd just do a short video sharing a product with you and a little bit of background information about what goes on with my video editing. I normally do videos for solar panels, electric cars, energy, my end of month videos especially about our energy consumption here at home. And while I'm editing those videos, I have a bit of an issue with the audio. Sometimes when I'm adding video content or photos that I'm going to talk over and do some audio for it, it's because I use my tablet, my Android tablet, for the video editing. To do the voiceovers, I either have to use the internal microphone for the tablet and hold it ever so close and uh, talk into it like this, or I have to plug in an external microphone to it. Now the external microphone works really well and gives me better audio quality than the internal one, so that's been working quite well. But the problem is once I plug an adapter into the USB socket of the tablet, and that's the microphone, then I can't play back audio. It seems to think that it's a speaker system as well. So I can't play back the audio that I've just recorded. So for editing, it becomes a bit of a pain, plugging in, unplugging, plugging in, unplugging. So I thought I would try these. Uh, it's a gaming headset, so um, headphones with an integrated microphone, and this is a wireless one as well. So the quality of these is really good. It's got surround sound. It's the Exa E1000WT. That's the product I'm trying. They're actually really comfortable and really nice. So this is them with uh, adjustable earpieces. They're very comfortable. Microphone, so yeah, it looks like I'm commentating on Formula One or something, but this works really really well for me because There's some noise cancelling on these so I'm hearing less of what goes on around the room So if cracker comes in I'm not as distracted as much sometimes while I'm editing then I'm taking multiple takes because of the distractions going on but also the microphone when I'm holding the lavalier microphone that I'm plugging into the tablet and holding it quite close to me, I still have to boost the sound sometimes and it still seems to pick up some ambient noises around the room. This, I can talk really quietly, which probably the lavalier microphone is not going to pick up very well, but this one does. So it's a big improvement for editing and a big improvement for recording. But for me, the important thing about these is the comfort. And uh, they're nice, really soft cups. Let me show you that on camera. A really nice soft cups on there. The uh, outside around here has some LED illumination in multicolors, so that's for the gaming experience, I suppose. That doesn't matter too much to me. Around the side, there's a volume control. And have I got the right one? Then there's two buttons down here. One's for turning the phones on and off and uh, turning surround sound on and off and the noise cancelling. So that's what those buttons are for. Then on this side, there's a, U hopefully you can see that, there's a USB-C socket, uh, that's for charging up the headphones. And there's also the 3.5 millimeter jack as well. The headphones come with a nice velvet bag. And the cables you get with it are the 3.5 millimeter jack for connecting to whatever device you're going to use the headphones with, hard wiring, USB charging cable, and the usb dongle so the wi-fi dongle so this plugs into a laptop desktop gaming computer and then your headphones can work wirelessly without being connected physically by a wire to this and this is what i was ideally hoping for that it was either bluetooth or wireless and i'd be able to use these connected to a tablet without using a wire but unfortunately that doesn't seem to work um, i have to use a wired connection for these headphones with my android tablet but when i'm using the laptop if i was to use the laptop then i can use the wi-fi dongle so for gaming and gaming systems this is obviously the way you'd go the wireless way and i guess it's a, a wireless gaming headset because it's using wireless instead of bluetooth so the response times and the quality you get through the wireless signal is better than Bluetooth. So yeah, I'm really happy with these, that uh, the microphone and integrated headphones is going to give me an improvement in editing, and hopefully you'll be able to tell as we go along. In fact, at the end of the video, I'll just do a little voiceover with the headphones so you can tell the difference between the audio that's coming from my lavalier microphone that's connected down here, 
and these and we'll see what the quality difference is like anyway i just thought i'd share that with you what goes on in my editing of videos and uh, the products that i look at and try to test to see whether it improves what i'm doing here this time not on an energy basis this time it's to do with the video editing anyway i hope you enjoyed the uh, little bit of insight and the product i'll put a link to the product on amazon uh, these esca exa e1000 wt uh, gaming headset it's a uh, it's quite a nice little product um, we've got other headphones and i've got to say that the sound quality and the surround sound from this for listening to music is much better as well uh, i'm very happy with them thanks for watching the video uh, end of month video coming up soon and lots of um, lots of interesting things to talk to you about and uh, a development that's going to be going ongoing for 2023 so i look forward to sharing that information with you take care thanks again for watching see you again soon for more videos Bye for now. And as promised, there's a little bit of voiceover using the headset microphone. Quality seems good. Volume, though, seems a little bit low. And on the Android tablet, I can't boost the input gain. So a little bit of a shame.